Hey, what's up guys? Drew here with The Lone Wolf today, and we've got five knee pads that we've been testing over the last few months. Let you guys know what you, what we think of them, and uh, hopefully give you guys some, some good advice when it comes time to buy your next set of pads. Uh, so first we've got the IXS Flow 661 Rage, Troy Lee Designs Raid, Liat's new 3DF pad, and the Fox Launch Pros. First up, we'll start with the Fox, the Launch Pros. Uh, this pad here is got a D3O behind this hard plastic kneecap, which is removable uh, for washing purposes or if you don't want to ride with a hard cap. Uh, we always left it on. The back is pretty breathable. Um, we did really like the dual strap, upper and lower. It helps keep the pad nice and secure. Um, one of the complaints, I guess, or things that we thought could have been better is side padding. Even though it is a pretty burly and hard pad, uh, it's lacking a little bit on the inside and some testers felt that it could have been a, a touch longer for a little more shin protection. Um, not a pad that you want to ride for big long days in the saddle. Then again, all of these pads for the most part are a little bit more on the aggressive side. Not quite thin trail duty pads and not quite full blown DH pads, but um, these are definitely pads that we would take out and do some shuttling on more than we would go out for a, a four hour or five hour epic. Next up are the uh, brand new Liats. These are the 3DF. Uh, similar to the Fox, it is kind of a gel soft padding with a hard cap uh, over the knee. We do really enjoy these pads. Uh, we like the added protection of padding on the side. Fit is quite nice on these. Um, once again, the, the front is a bit warm. The back of the knee has a nice cutout for uh, some pedaling comfort. Uh, you know, very well vented in the back. It does only have a single strap. However, these pads did a really nice job of staying in place. Uh, that they fit well, they didn't move. We do like them a lot, but they are a bit warm. Um, all in all, for, for an aggressive, all around trail pad, all mountain y type thing, um, or if you're going to be doing some shuttling, this is a killer pad. If it's really hot in the summer, you might be baking a little bit. Troy Lee Designs, single Velcro attachment across the upper. Not too warm. Um, not too thick. It, it's really a, a pretty nice mix of all things. Um, the side padding is on the slimmer side, but uh, definitely a help. It's got a pretty thin gel type padding, no hard cap on the outside, but very durable, um, abrasion resistant kind of treatment it feels like on the outside. Again, the back, it, there's no cutout, but it's very breathable and ventilated. Um, so. All in all, it's a good pad. It, we didn't love it, we didn't hate it. It just, it did its job, it did it well, nothing fancy. And uh, yeah, it's it's kind of the, the sleeper workhorse out of the group. Um, all right, next up, we've got the 661 Rage pad. These pads, sizing is off. Um, we will address sizing uh, momentarily, but I had to run an XL and they were still tight on this pad, uh, calf and thigh, but uh, you know, they're just, it's a very tight pad. It almost made it too uncomfortable to wear on really long days. That being said, aside from the fitment, um, offers nice coverage, extends down low, well into the shin, which was great. Um, it's a pretty soft pad, uh, you know, not something I'd really wear downhilling, but for, you know, some, some light shuttle days or longer pedals, um, this is a solid pad that offers a good range of protection both down the shin and on the outside. Uh, it has, you've got a, a, an elastic strap behind the calf to help keep it tight on the back of the calf, a tight gripper strip along the bottom of the calf here, and one Velcro strap across the top. All in all, a pretty good pad. Comfort was kind of the big thing for us with this just because they're, the sizing is so off. Um, I, I can't imagine what someone who actually has big muscular legs would do because this is an XL and it hurts me. Last up, we've got probably the probably the most comfortable but also the slimmest and smallest pads of this group. Um, 
it almost looks undergunned compared to some of these other more burly pads but it's definitely one of the pads that we find ourselves wearing the most purely based on comfort um, it is small so uh, coverage you know low or to the sides is not as great it also is a little short on top we do wish this came a little higher up but again that's part of what makes it so light and comfortable even on hot days this is a pad that we will always wear um, single strap across the bottom of the calf uh, the top just has a little gripper strip uh, again very well vented across the whole back uh, it's got a, a pretty hard uh, gel like d3o type material on the inside that nicely wraps around the whole kneecap and down a little bit so you get good protection of the knee but uh, not much else around here so that's the ixs flow all right, well, thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed the walkthrough of the pads, just kind of showing you some of the details and finer things. Um, before we go, we'll go over sizing, uh, a little bit of recommendation there. Uh, most brands, if you're unfamiliar, will have a sizing chart online, um, or we'll be happy to answer your questions. But uh, usually about four inches or so up from your kneecap uh, would be your thigh circumference measurement. And then you'll have another measurement down below uh, your knee at the calf area where the lower band will be keeping the pads in place. Uh, something to remember is you don't want something too tight because as your you know, blood's flowing and you're out on a ride, um, you know things are gonna swell and change than if you've been sitting in an office chair all day. Uh, on the flip side, you don't wanna buy something too big because then you've just got uh, an expensive sweat maker that's gonna be gone as soon as you hit the ground. So if possible, try on pads in, in person it'll give you a much better feeling um, for what you're getting into because these are a pretty costly investment and they're something that's important and you want to fit and work well. Um, aside from that, you know, these are five pads we've been spending a lot of time on or in, I should say, and uh, they each kind of do things well. Um, again, the 661 pads, fitment was a major issue for us, so that kind of took those out, uh, which is a shame because all in all, it was a pretty good pad overall. The IXS Flow, great all around pad if you're looking for something kind of light to medium duty. Um, isn't super obtrusive, doesn't have a lot of excess padding. It just does what it needs to do. It's light and comfortable. Troy Lee Design Pad, um, probably wouldn't wear it downhilling. Doesn't feel like it's quite got enough protection uh, for all out days like in the bike park or downhilling. It's a little too warm for you know three hour rides in the summer but if you're looking for that middle of the road kind of in between pad that that protects you well if you're shuttling or um, pedaling to the top of a gnarly downhill that's a great option. The Liet 3DF is uh, also a killer pad. A little bit warm but it pedals nicely, has some good cutouts in the back, fit is great. Um, they look awesome. I like the fact that they've got this hard shell cap, so it kind of if you hit something rocky or hard, it'll it'll slide and deflect a little bit. Fox pads um, definitely would be probably the most downhill oriented of the bunch. We really like again the hard pad up front. Wish it was a little longer shin protection, and we do wish they had some more side padding. That's kind of our major gripe with these is that they don't have much protection on the side, which really is the issue for, for us when we're downhilling. Um, and they're a little too stiff and rigid for super long days of pedaling, but uh, still a pretty good pad all around. And uh, yeah, that's all of them. Hope you enjoyed it and be sure to subscribe and let us know what you think. And if there's any other pads you want us to test, let us know.